Hi, my name is Shannon Hicks, and I'm a senior at Lincoln High. You know! This poem is called Downtown on New Year's Eve at age 17. I am staring at my hands, red and sweaty and small like two babies born into this world, screaming, shaking, soliciting a warm embrace. I stuff them in my pockets. It is 10.55, and I am waiting alone. Next year, I turn 18, a March baby blossoming into adulthood as the ice melts into spring. I am not a kid anymore, I told my mom this afternoon as I got in my car. But tonight, under the last sky of 2016, I feel like a freckle on the face of this screaming, shaking world. I think of my mother and her warm embrace. I am dizzy and small. Drunk on lukewarm coffee in the street-lit night, alone amidst a pregnant, bloated universe preparing for an infant sun to rise, the stars and civilization celebrate the birth of its youngest year. I've never liked birthday parties, particularly my own. Birthdays remind me of the time I cannot feel. I am older, but only in words. With each passing day, I cry harder for childhood, my fingernail pacifier pressed between my lips, cradling my empty coffee cup with calloused fingertips. My hands are still small, but no longer sweaty. My friend arrives. Tired from work, she smears on her lipstick as we get into her car. It reminds me of my great-grandmother who had 50 29th birthdays before she died. Ironically, I am wearing all black. Matching the moonless sky in the morning, I mistake for nostalgia. My friend mentions this might be our final New Year spent together. We reminisce about time and memories lost both to time and distance. I roll down the car door window and breathe in the changing night. It smells of glitter and fire and ash. This is a time brimming with impending firsts and lasts. And although I've never liked birthday parties, I like funerals less. As I get out of the casket car again, I bury my cold hands in my pockets. I feel infinitesimal, but I know even the smallest flame can baptize a room and glow. In the distance, a firework explodes. I watch its electric particles fall from the sky like infant phoenixes racing each other towards death. We walk into the party laughing. Reborn amongst the song of firecrackers, soon enough our voices ignite the house like an unchecked candle. Three, a tender baby cries. Two, my great-grandmother laughs through me. One, the world is not too different after all.